Good morning. Welcome to the Heart and Soul programs of India Bhutto Life uh, Ministries. As I am thanking God for uh, the people, those who are listening this uh, program, as uh, we are not claim that we are perfect in uh, dealing with the uh, family matters, but one thing is sure. As our understanding is actually related with the Word of God, we know that living a family life is not an easy thing with the human knowledge. So that we have to depend on the heavenly knowledge, the knowledge which is covered by the grace of God. So, as I mentioned earlier, that even uh, the most efficient men or women in the world fail seems to be fail to lead a healthy family life. because life is like that so here in this uh, moment we wanted to commit our uh, session in the hands of god so that god could help us how to lead properly with the words of the lord so that we could be more uh, blessing let's pray father in heaven we thank you for the moment you have given us to uh, remember the god's grace we need to live a family life in this world love you master because you are wonderful god for us help us to rejoice in your salvation and lead us properly in jesus name we pray amen so teachers and the masters in this world are uh, efficient they are able to lead the family life they are able to lead the sin in the world so people are defining sin what is sin the absence of goodness is sin the absence of goodness in somebody's life is noticeable sometimes we have a system to prevent the sins we have the 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 the, the power we have to block the sins but even if people are tempted to do the sin so how to find out the sin that's the most complicated and uh, it is a uh, most difficult work in the world even people are specialized uh, in uh, dealing with the sin and the problems of people but uh, we know that in the family context how does it work so who is responsible to investigate the tendency of the sin in the home this is a different subject for us today morning we have to work out how does it happen so as i mentioned that we need a special guidance from the god to find out uh, this delicate area because recent uh, family issues are uh, leading to either committing suicide or killing even if the small mistake is sufficient to finish the family life even people even the children are also putting an end of their life with a very simple mistakes either they have done it or uh, it is uh, done by somebody else from their own family so husband and father should learn how to deal this is a delicate subject how to prevent the sin in the home you know what is sin you have to define it how to define the sin you have to understand about the sin what are the elements which are blocking the flow of your family life husband and uh, father should be more sensible to this area we cannot ignore the the impact of sin in the home so anyway at any cost no sin will bring any blessings to anybody else because sin is dishonoring not only god alone sin is dishonoring the value of people so we have we have some our value we cannot match our value with anybody's match some people are black some people are white some people are reddish whatever it is nothing is wrong in the sight of god all people are equally important because the human life is so important so no man has no right to stop or finish the life of human life but when we come into the areas of sin that diminish or deteriorate the value of person that is a fact it is our common understanding 
So those who are uh, living in the jail, don't think that, uh, that they, 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 they don't have uh, any right to live. Of course, that is on depend on a common understanding. So those who are violating the rules which prevent the flow of the life are eligible for punishment. There's nothing wrong in it. But here, you know, in, in leading a farm life, what kind of wisdom we need it. One example we could see in uh, John chapter 8, Jesus is dealing with uh, one issue. And what the word of God says that now it is from the word, uh, uh, second one verse I will read. Now early in the morning, he came again into the temple. Why did Jesus came in the early morning to the temple? Is for prayer. And all the people came to him. He sat down and taught them. That was uh, Jesus' uh, one of the responsibilities. Then the scribes and Pharisees brought to him a woman caught in adultery. And when they had set to her in the maid, they said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in adultery in the very act, now Moses in the law, command us that uh, such should be stoned, but what do you say about it? According to the law of Moses, she should be stoned. That means she should be put into death. It is happened in the early morning. You know that it is a very crucial moment for Jesus to decide her uh, life and death. Even he said, any of the, his uh, command, either that will lead to the death of this woman or uh, they will put him also in death. People are in angry mood. They told very clearly that uh, we are the real Jews following the laws of God as well as the command of Moses. We are having that seal in our heart. We hate sin. We don't like sin. We know that sin will block of the flow of the human life. Therefore, we wanted to eliminate the, all the uh, elements of this sin. So the whole night we were searching for the sinners. Finally, we got one adulterous woman. She spent her night with somebody else. So we got it. Now we want to uh, put it into the legal point of view to take some action. Now we want your help because you are a teacher. And the teachers are responsible. To, so you have to tell us what to do. Then what happened? This uh, they said, trusting him, that uh, they might have something of which to accuse Jesus. But Jesus stopped down and wrote on the ground with his finger as though he did not hear. So when they continued to ask him, he raised himself up answer to them, He who is without sin among you, let him throw a stone at her first. Whoever is sinless, please throw the stone against this woman. You know, that moment is very much important. Jesus said a very reasonable statement. It is not the part of the law. So, sinner is a sinner, but who can punish a sinner? It's the first time that became a, a question for people. Before that, a sinner is killing another sinner. But here, Jesus said, who is uh, worthy to judge the people? Those are sinless. If you are sinless, you can stone this lady. Because he's adulterous. It's a criminal activity. You know what happened? Then those who heard it, being convicted by their own conscience. Being convicted by their own conscience. That's a word is very much important. Being convicted by their own conscience. So God has given us a conscience. God has given everybody a conscience. Conscious is a place where the Spirit of God is speaking. 
when Jesus spoke his word, the heavenly wisdom started to work upon the hearts of people. That has prickled the heart of people. And the Holy Spirit asked this question to each and every body, those who participate in the morning investigation. Are you a sinner? No. Then the question is, are you uh, the, the, the person appointed by the government to search for sinner? No. Who appointed uh, you to find out a sinner? Because you are looking for a chance to do the sin. So, meanwhile, they found out that a lady is an adulteress. The whole night they were searching. They wanted to do the sin. That's what none of them were able to throw the stone against this woman. The word of God says, what it says about, uh, and uh, then those who heard it, being convicted by their own conscience, went out one by one, beginning with the oldest, even to the last, and Jesus was left alone, and women standing in the midst. Even to the oldest, to the youngest one, they stood before Jesus and the lady. They could not uh, throw the stone against them because of their prickling conscience. The supernatural wisdom started to work there. So this is what we need in the home. We need a conscience to live a life in the family. Otherwise, the family will be undergoing kind of situation that will threaten to everybody's life. If the father is not a model to his family, if he is not keeping a, a heavenly conscience in his life, a fatherly conscious, a conscious which is uh, given a right direction to his family, he will be a great martyr in the world. The lives which is flourishing under him will be spoiled heavily. That's the impact of many drunkards' home is happening. If the father is valueless, the husband is valueless, whole family will be affected severely. They also will feel. So this is what, uh, what the word of God says. So we need a supernatural wisdom to lead our family life. That's what the word of God is uh, talking. If we read uh, Ephesians chapter uh, 5 to 27, Jesus gave himself to the church. Likewise, every husband should leave his life to his family. He should be a role model. He should be, that love of the father should be more sacrificial. So we need to deal with the sin of the home so that first of all, the husband and the father should clean his heart and clean himself from the point of uh, sinful deeds. And what the Matthew chapter 18 verse 15, Jesus is teaching, if your brother sin, go and show him his fault in private, in private, in private. That is very important. Don't they say their sin in front of all people. For example, if a father exposes the sin of one of the members of the family in front of all the members of the family, what will happen? They feel hurt. So once in, once in a time, what will happen? They will push the button. They will push the point. You were somebody, you did some criminal activity, you did some shameful thing. That will burn the family. Or that will burn the person himself. If the same is true, if it is a, the sin with wife, the husband is exposing the wife's sin before the, all the members of the family, the wife feel hurt. There is a great amount of pain is coming out of her heart that will expose one day or one in another activity. So that what the word of God said, if we listen to you, that means if your brother committed some sin and uh, when you to convince him, if he listened to you, you have won your brother. You have won your brother. Matthew chapter 18 verse 15 says. So, Another word in Galatians chapter one, 6 verse 1, Galatians chapter 6 verse 1 says, Brethren, if anyone is caught in any 
trespass you are spiritual restore such one in a spirit of gentleness so you have to deal with the sin of your person in the home with a gentle spirit with a gentle manner so that you can restore the life of your own people so each person is responsible to the life of your own brother or your own neighbor if your neighbor also doing some sin take time go and meet him personally don't expose in front of other people you tell him brother i have noticed that there is a mistake in you so that mistake will finish you sometimes you tell him about the consequences of the the, the mistake if he is a low violator tell him don't do it so you will be in peril you will be in danger it is your responsibility as a husband it is your responsibility if your wife is in sin so you are the person to take care of the sin of your wife it, likewise uh, even wife also can tell her husband about it most of the women are doing it uh, very carefully very powerfully and uh, there is a question we must uh, apply to our desire to help uh, our wife with her sin what the word of god uh, says in galatians chapter 6 verse 1 he says each one looking to yourself so that you will be you will not be tempted you have to evaluate yourself first of all that's what jesus did the same method you are many you are plenty you have power you are a woman you can do it but before throwing a stone question for you are you eligible to do that one do you have the right to do that one because you have done already a plenty of sin you cannot do it the word of god is better for us as proverb chapter 27 proverb chapter 27 verses 5 and 6 also say better is open rebuke than love that is carefully concealed an open rebuke don't do it open rebuke is better than a secret love and uh, faithful are the wounds of a friend sometimes a friends can give us food if it is a good wound for our betterment is always advisable because friend is having a more responsibility a spiritual responsibility responsibility to save us and uh, we need to understand a husband should be ready he should be ready in season and out of season his responsibility is uh, explained in hebrew chapter 10 verses 24 and 25 and uh, is there is any any blocking uh, happen to see the flow of your life with your wife so you have to consider it, it as an important factor and the husband uh, must know what to deal with he should understand whether she he should not uh, ignore it this same thing happened to the king david he did many many activities which was not pleasing to god major activity he has done which was not at all glorifying god he committed a adultery he thought no one could understand this one only i can but later what will happen he has seen the same thing happen in his own family so one of the failure of king david was he failed to examine the his own personal life with god later he has seen all the consequences of his sin in his own life his own family life his little children become the victims of that one so husbands you have to take care of your wife you have to take care of your children you have to take care of your family even there is any chance for the sin you should eliminate it avoid it. and teach your people the consequences of this sin and uh, 
husband should uh, clear out the scene sometimes there are a lot of areas of uh, misunderstanding should be there but uh, we have to keep a clear heart before your family so that they could they can able to honor your words these are the some of the area that husband should do in their own life recently i know i go through the life of one great person who is a big engineer who led many constructions he, he finished many many good constructions in india as i seen uh, his name is sridhar sridharan he constructed a metro railway and uh, kongan railway and all in his book he explained very clearly about it he honor his word in his own home he still keep the words of his families and his mother told don't get any more any bribe from your work but only be contented with what you are getting still he is keeping his track even after retirement period also he is continuing his service the whole country need his service dear one what i am saying it is not the excellence of your activity but the excellence of your heart how much you are dedicated to help people serve people through your noble character and also husband should take all sin seriously don't eliminate the important of anything in jeremiah chapter 16 verse 7 says my eyes are on their ways god says they are not hidden from my face nor is their iniquity concealed from my eyes as we are living in the in front of the lord lord's eye is upon us husband should feel that uh, you are god appointed person to sit there and god's eye is upon you and in roman chapter 1 verse 8 says 18 says roman chapter 1 verse 18 says the wrath of god is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men don't you think that nobody is uh, Are uh, noticing it? Don't don't believe like that. God is watching everybody's life in the world, so that you are accountable to your family sin. Some family is noticeable. It is a robber's family, thief's family, murderer's family, killer's family. Don't put a blame like that for your family. Your family should live under the power of the Holy Spirit. they have to keep a conscious therefore jesus said open your conscious open your conscious before uh, judging somebody else open your conscious if the conscious is uh, very very a uh, uh, god oriented you will be saved the whole men even to the oldest to the youngest one left that woman because of the conscious started to speak the holy spirit is uh, controlling their conscious he has uh, given them the feeling of uh, uh, committing mistakes they started to remember the mistakes which they have done call is to record everything properly and say hey men hey gentlemen you have done all such things how can you raise your voice how can you raise your hands against this woman there is no justification for this woman she did adultery everybody agreed she violated the rule agreed jesus said where are these men they all left what jesus replied to this woman you also can leave but don't do the sin father of the home should understand this thing and uh, we must believe in john chapter first john chapter 1 verse 9 first john chapter 1 verse 9 say if we confess our sin god is faithful and righteous to forgive our all sins to cleanse us from all kinds of unrighteousness father you are a person to make your people to go to repentance go to righteousness and block them wherever they are feeling uh, disturbances you should open their blocks so that the life will flow so the life of many people are in your hand it is called it is applicable to all leaders if you remove the blocks the flow of human life is beautiful like a river it is flowing the life should spread everywhere 
if you if you block with that with the sin and wrong deeds unrighteousness the flow will block there is no development there is no sin, there is no presence of life so absence of light is darkness absence of goodness is sin so you should not be an ambassador of sin you should not be an ambassador of death be a active person to promote the life of human life in your home may god bless you with this verses and you value your life and give life let it glow let it flow more fluently smoothly may god bless you with this word let's pray for a minute father we bless all those who listen this word of god it is given by the almighty god may you continue to bless each and everybody and uh, help them to flow this life fluently properly smoothly bless all of them in jesus precious name we pray amen thank you so much for watching today's uh, television program if you have any comment please let us know about it thank you very much